right, moving on to some trending topics Let's now. Let's go. We're going to talk about us. a favorite Hi, here on the DMV Zone. What do we think it is? Oh, yes. My girl, I Taylor Swift. We were doing this. Yes. Oh, let's get into <laughs> so it. This today, awesome. she announced the Eras Tour is coming to a theater near you starting on October 13th. She also dropped the trailer. Take a quick look. Welcome to the Eras Tour. This has been the most extraordinary experience of my entire life. together and that adventure is going to span 17 years of music how does that sound welcome to the acoustic set like do a show with like all the albums in it and I was like yeah it's it's, it's gonna be called the Eras tour see you there That's all right awesome. guys all right as you can right, imagine Taylor. I am yeah. already beyond ecstatic for yeah. this I bought tickets already there Same. was uh, as you would imagine a queue a line to get tickets for a movie theater to see the Eras tour yeah, in right. hd yeah i went to the concert in tampa look this woman can take all my money i don't care <laughs> go right ahead take it but i will say what i do like about it, it, it in my defense that she is taking all my money here is that she does give back to you know her her trust drivers they each got a hundred thousand dollars she recently in mexico uh put up all of her staff in you know really nice hotel rooms at a resort in Mexico, so I'm like, hey, you know what? If I'm giving this woman my money, at least she's doing some good with it. Yeah, she gave, she gave all people. six figure bonuses, right? Yeah. And here's the thing: watching that trailer, Kevin, yeah, Jacqueline, right. Haley, yes, Joe. I might go see Taylor Swift you in should. the theaters. I might. I, 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 oh it's a, it's just a might. That's a that's just yeah. a might. <laughs> But, I, I mean, she made it look very, very interesting. If I'm on the yeah. planet while this phenomenon is happening, Joe, I, you know, this let one me of those make things. This, let me make the pitch for you. Because okay. earlier today, our 4 o'clock producer, Mariana, she asked me, what would be the reason someone who's not a fan would go see it? And I said kind of just, A, to understand the hype a little bit, and B, interest in how it got so big you know just to see what she's doing for three and a half hours i mean i think that alone is impressive even if oh, you don't absolutely. like the music yeah i, I, got, I got, got tickets you. i got tickets i'm really excited Did you? to see okay. it okay and well, you know he got tickets well, i was saying this you want to go with our group kevin i would love to no but <laughs> right. i was saying this earlier so i was lucky enough to see hamilton you gonna take me man yeah yeah, yeah. i'll definitely take you we'll do a sleepover we'll and then see taylor swift oh here you go yeah, there we go there we go <laughs> no but it, i don't want to see i saw hamilton uh live on broadway and it was the original cast. Okay. And then when Disney Plus put out the recorded mm -hmm. version of that, I watched it. I mentioned this earlier on Lion. When you're watching a recorded version of a show that's been edited, when you're seeing something live, you are the editor, right? Mm -hmm. Because you choose to look at Taylor when she's there or here, or you look at the screen or whatever. When you make a movie, the filmmaker chooses that for you. They're the one that right. tell you where to look, how close up we're going to get. So even if you've seen the show, it's going to be a different experience. Yeah. On top of that, as uh, as Haley was saying, like this is a phenomenon. I want to just, I, I want to hear the music in a, on a big screen in a theater with like a you know an Atmos sound. But Haley, if you're still there, one of the questions I had earlier, out of every song that she could have chosen to put in that trailer, she chose "Cruel Summer," and you had a really interesting theory. As, and then this is not, we don't know for sure if this is accurate, but this is actually a really interesting theory you have about why that song is in the trailer. Let me hear it. Yeah, Kevin, I'm always here. I'm always. Um, <laughs> but no. So what I think was because Cruel Summer is on her album Lover that came out in 2019. So, or I think 2019. So the year before the pandemic, Lover Fest was supposed to happen in 2020. That was the concert that got canceled. And that was the song from the album that everyone really wanted to hear live. Mm -hmm. So I think that was probably the most anticipated 
when this tour was happening. It also just dropped as a single four years after the album came right. out, so obviously there's a lot of hype around it. Yeah, you know, and the production okay. value. And what song is that? It's called Cruel, Cruel Summer. Summer. Cruel Summer. Okay. Okay. At your show, uh -huh. and I know you and Haley saw it in two different uh, states, two different yeah. venues. Did you see cameras? Because I, I was trying to figure out, because the director who did this, I think his name is Sam Wrench, um, he obviously put together, I'm not sure if he collaborated on one set of shows in one stadium or if it's multiple shows across the tour. Did you notice any I cameras in your show? Specifically, and I had seen, and, and Haley, correct me if I'm wrong, it wasn't until some of the later shows that they started actually doing some of the, the filming there. It sounds it? like they only filmed at uh, SoFi Stadium right, in, in Los Angeles because there were signs that said "Wow, uh, there's you know yeah, recording happening. Happened, and they yeah. changed out the bracelets that she gives out during the show mm -hmm. that light up. They made them bigger, so obviously you'll oh. see them better. And but, so, that, but, that, but that show was just like a, few a couple weeks, weeks ago, ago yeah, so how would they have already Mexico. edited all that footage together? I don't Look, know if they edited it everything Taylor, and they, the, the they edited hard, enough for the trailer team works harder wow <laughs> and they edited enough for the trailer and when is it released uh, october, october 13th. 13th i do the whole six weeks from now i do have yeah. one more question there was something i saw in taylor's tweet that i didn't really fully understand uh, she's saying that people can wear the bracelets okay okay i'll tell you the all about bracelets this to the, the now i know when you go see a taylor swift show she makes you wear the bracelet so that she can see every single person in the venue so, but if you're doing that in the theater is it going to i think she was people? saying wear the friendship bracelets which oh, is not a the reference light up. not a light, oh, okay, a light up okay. which is a reference to one of her songs, she mentions uh, wearing friendship bracelets on her song, I'm, You're I'm on Your Own Kid. I'm just going to wear my Wakanda um, And so, like, it was kind of like a moment, like, everyone was making friendship bracelets, and then you trade it with other people. Oh, so she was like, you know, cool. in the theaters, wear your friendship bracelets, sing, dance, have a moment. It's yeah. like you're there in the concert I'm for a going. lot of people that didn't get to go. And I also liked, and, and Haley, you know, you you know about the Easter eggs that she always has. The tickets for adults were $19.89. Were they? Which was, Wait, her, was $19.89. Mine was more than that. I, got, I, I went IMAX. But IMAX, though. that's why. IMAX, so, yeah. and then and that's a cover of one of her albums. Yeah. And then thirteen, thirteen was a, a kid's ticket. Thir yeah, her favorite number. Why so you is gotta thirteen love it. her favorite number? Um, oh gosh, my if I remember number. correctly, uh, isn't it like Kevin. her birthday or yeah, something? Yeah, it's her birthday, it's December thirteenth. It's, it's also Joe Claire's birthday, birthday, and that's a good enough reason. I love that the movie's coming out the same day as the new Exorcist film, which I think is a really interesting. Oh, is it? It's gonna be. Also, it comes out Friday. Yeah, Friday the thirteenth. Beads, then. Which seems yeah. like an Easter egg to me, but I don't know. Yeah, my Jesus beads. <laughs> right messing with y'all. <laughs> my Jesus beads. No, Kevin, I'm, where are you going? I'm going to Montgomery. I'm going Mall. to uh, in Ashburn. Okay.